we are indeed really answerable to Allah. He is going to ask us a question. I put you in Makkah al mukarrama What did you do whilst you were in Makkah al mukarrama That is indeed something that is going to happen because everything that we do or we go through in our lives, we are going to be questioned about it by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So prepare an answer. That is all we are saying. Prepare. What is your answer? I came to Makkah. I did not go to the masjid for salah. Once a week, I still did not go to Mecca, or should I say to the Haram in, uh, in, in Mecca, although I was living in the outskirts. I never ever attended any talks that were there. I did not learn how to read the Quran or to understand it, nor did I attempt to learn how to read the Quran or understand it. Is this the answer we are going to give Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? If that is the case, we are at a loss and we have lost a lot. But rather, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us strength and to forgive our shortcomings, to make us from those who can make the most of our time whilst in this beautiful city. So, we have lessons of Quran. We need to try our best to learn the Quran. We have lessons of the Arabic language whilst we are here. It is important that we make the most of the fact that we are in Makkah al mukarrama to learn a little bit of Arabic, not only to talk with one another, but to be able to understand the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the reasons is, do you know that wahi and revelation started in this city of Makkah? The words of the Quran, I'm sure we would know them. Iqara bismi rabbika alladhi khalaqa khalaqa al-insana min alaqa Read in the name of your Rabb who has created the one who has created just from a clot. These words were revealed in Makkah al mukarrama You and I are sitting here today. How can I not understand the wahi and the revelation when I am in the city of revelation? I am where it all started. Subhanallah. This is where Jibreel was. This is where the Sahaba radiallahu anhum were. This is where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam was. This is where it all started and it happened. This is where they were driven out of. This is where they came back to. And this is where Islam grew, subhanallah. Today we are sitting at the point of the birth of Islam. And what have I done? What have you done? Not only to thank Allah for this gift, but at the same time, to be able to stand up on the day of judgment and say, Ya Allah, you took me to Makkah al mukarrama for so long. I sat there, I got closer to you. I did not get further away from you. We don't need the mic. We don't need the mic here. La. I sat in Makkah al mukarrama and I got closer to you. We don't want to say I sat in Makkah. I was watching television all night. Some people, this is what they do. And I was sitting with my phone all night and I went to work in the morning and I came back and I was only worried about a real or two or a dollar or two. Or I was worried about my link with this one and that one. Is my air conditioner working? Is my water happening? Is everything okay? Have I bought my shoes? When am I going home? When am I coming back? If that is the core aim of our existence in the city, then we have a reminder of this nature to remind us that let us change focus. Let us change focus to be focused on the right path and to be focused on the right thing. As I said, Wallahi, we will be asked by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I blessed you, I favored you over and above the others who are crying to come to Mecca, who are really dying to see this place, who are saving up so much money just to come for the period of Hajj. And where am I? Am I from amongst those who have made use of a center of this nature where there is a little bit of dissemination of good Islamic teachings? Have I ever come? Have I ever attended? Have I encouraged others? Have I brought them along? Have I taught people? Have I learned myself? If that is the case, inshallah, I will be from amongst the successful and I will be from amongst those who can really stand up and beg the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment to say, at least we tried, Ya Allah, to earn your pleasure. We tried to learn whilst we were in this beautiful city of Makkah al-Mukarramah.